My name is Patrick Wickstrom. I'm the community architect here at Juniper Networks. My role entails creating a vibrant user community across all of Juniper's website properties. So JNet was launched a little bit over three years ago, and we just been on the Lithium platform for about two and a half years, and we've seen some dramatic increase in both usage and capability in those on those years. So from a community perspective, we're currently working a lot on delivering a strong global presence in our communities. Uh, we just launched Japan, for example, uh, with both a technical forum as well as a, as a kind of a business-based blog. We also just held our first tech cafe, and the tech cafe is a multi-day event where we establish a group of strong experts within Juniper and have them available 24-7 to answer questions about a specific topic. And the first event was around SSL VPN, which is one of our largest um, and most popular products. Some of the areas in our community I think has been the most successful has been our use of video. So we leverage video more and more on the site now to be able to do both thought leadership, but also to be able to engage our users in a different way. We launched a show called Junos Connect, which is a it's kind of a monthly show targeted really at a very deep technical audience who is using our kind of core Junos operating system. And it's really a foundation element to engage our customers. Uh, we also use live chat, which is a great feature to let kind of our technical audience again interact with technical experts within Juniper. And we just launched a mobile version of JNet, and this part uh, lets anyone who has a mobile phone browse, you can reply to posts, you can search, you can do all the different core activities that you can do on your regular desktop in a way that is accessible anywhere, anytime. So we use a number of different channels to promote our Juno certification program, uh, including JNet. And JNet has been one of the most effective ways of ensuring that people can get the answers they need when it comes to making choices about their career. And this includes things like, you know, what certifications are available to me, what uh, preparation do I need to study for an exam, and what are the benefits of gaining a certification. The next things coming up this year for JNet is really expanding our global presence, about getting out more in the various spheres that we participate in and drive usage um, in our communities. And the other thing that we're doing this year is get a big focus on events, of getting people both into live chat environment but also webcast environments and allow us to participate with them at a much deeper level. The largest objective for the community, beyond anything else, is really strengthening the broad base of activity that we have so we can get better at listening to our customers but also respond to our customers' needs. And this is really where uh, we spend a lot of time looking at all the different social media outlets, whether it's JNet, whether it's YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook and so on, to find an integrated platform that really anyone can contact us in any way they, they prefer. And that's really the key here, right, is that all of our different users all have different needs and they come to us in different methods and we shouldn't block any way they want to talk to us. And we need to be able to support them from any environment.